scoring with the Blue Bulls, it's Kerry. And scoring with the Red Bulls, it's Helen. And they'll be facing Gladiators, Lightning, Vogue and Rio. Over to John Anderson. Contender! The dream team can become a real nightmare on the Powerball pitch. Kerry knows she's got her hands full, and Helen looks like she's got her mouth full. Three, two, one! You need to be tougher than a tough person, being very tough indeed to score anything in Powerball. Helen with no luck against Lightning and Rio, making short work of Kerry's efforts. No points on their first run, something's up. Ah, Helen's injured. It looks like a knee following that first tackle from Lightning, clearly in a lot of pain. Now, Dr. Lou Arturo and physio Mike Garmston on hand for that knee. Parents Roger and Maggie. Maggie in no doubt as to what happens. St. John ambulance men signalling for the gurney. And all we can do is await the diagnosis. Helen, a part-time aerobics instructor, knows all about this kind of injury herself. The casualty team lift the stricken Helen onto the gurney and she'll be whisked into the examination room where the experts will decide what further action needs to be taken. And a consoling round of applause for the plucky Helen Martin as she's wheeled away. And I've been told we're going to continue with the men's event while Helen's being checked out. But first, here's how the injury was sustained. Helen off to a lively start, tries to outflank Lightning, but Lightning's up to it, spins Helen round, and somewhere in this twisting tackle, the damage was done. Scoring with the blue balls, it's Gordon! Scoring with the Red Bulls, it's Ronnie! And they're facing Gladiators, Hunter, Rhino and Ace! And there are the boys in question. Wolf never does Powerball, because at his age we contravene the Trades Description Act. Gordon and Ronnie have never played Powerball in competition before. Ronnie immediately closed down by Hitman Hunter and Ace with time for a quick salsa before dashing Gordon to the deck. Rough and ready, and that's just the glads. Ronnie tries to shimmy Rhino. That injured knee seems to be holding up. Gordon against the Golden Boy. Predictable finish to that encounter. Ronnie again with speed, sees the gap left by Hunter. Oh, superb diving save from Rhino. Ace is there, Ronnie's still loose, and Rhino again. Incredible defensive work from the big fella. Rhino should be a bank manager the way he charges. Oh. You don't tackle someone without the ball. Just one. Now, in case you didn't understand it, John Anderson there warning Rhino about tackling the contender after he's grounded the ball. Here's what happened. Ronnie drops the ball on the blind side of Rhino. Rhino fully committed to the tackle by that point. The ref perhaps a trifle harsh. There are 32 seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Ronnie versus Hunter. And Hunter wins it with ease, so it's back to square one for Ronnie. His old friend Rhino waiting to meet out some revenge. My money's not on Ronnie for this encounter. Rhino and Ace covering him, tries to go through the middle, they slam shut the door. Ronnie back to reload. Less than 15 seconds on the clock, Ronnie versus Hunter. Oh, no joy for the telecom computer engineer from Coventry, you can't slip the Hunter. Gordon tries to back his way through Ace, can't make it pay. The scores are nil-nil, and that's how it's going to stay. Good defensive work by the Gladiators. The Powerball 18, A for awesome. Ronnie now knows that in a one-to-one -one with Hunter, the big man will always come out best. Well, as Ronnie and Rhino make up, let's review the Huntsman's quick work. Straight in before Ronnie can draw breath. Ronnie, please don't tell me you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did, really. But it was tough, very tough. I mean, it was very, very fast, and at one stage I saw you go for both Ace and Rhino, which <laughs> was a little bit brave. Well, that's the only way through them. Go for them. And there were quite a few sort of high-flying tackles and one thing and another. Yeah, they were, we were lunging in, trying to book it, but fair dues to the Gladiators. They, you know, they play fair, no yellow cards. So let's hear it for Ronnie and Gordon. Scores confirmed, Ronnie nil, Gordon nil. Let's find out if we can get an update now on the injured Helen Martin from Uli. 
Well, we have some news regarding the injury that Helen Martin sustained in the women's Powerball. Unfortunately, she's not going to be able to continue. Uh, she's had the advice of our medics and our physios and the doctors. She sustained an injury to her leg. And in this situation, of course, we bring in a standby. And the standby on this occasion is Julie Hall. I don't know how you're feeling, Julie. You must be feeling a little bit... You know, a bit nervous. No, I'm, I'm OK. I just hope Helen's going to be OK. I'm sure she will do. Now, now tell us um, a little bit about yourself, what you do and where you're from, because you do have a very interesting job. Yes, I'm from Southall in Nottinghamshire, and I work in our family business as a funeral director. But you actually dig the graves out, don't you? Yes, I do, yes, by hand. Oh, well, you're good with your hands. You've got, you're going to start now with Powerball, and, of course, you will be appealing on behalf of all of us for Helen's fans to support you. Yes, please, if they would. That would be great, and I'm sure they will. The very best of luck, and uh, we'll now hand over to John Anderson. Indeed, Helen's fans are right behind Julie. She's a funeral director, and she's going to have to dig deep in this event. Kerry's already seen ten seconds of Powerball action tonight. There are 50-5-0 seconds remaining. Contenders ready! Ready to... Southwell spun away from the points by Lightning. The Undertaker gets buried. Kerry grounded by Rio. Julie crosses to reload. Kerry co-owns a boarding kennel with her family. Tonight she just needs to scoop up some points. Kerry against Lightning. Lightning again. She's remarkable. Kerry picks herself up, dusts herself off and starts all over again. She's going to get a dog's life out there at the hands of the Glads. And Julie more used to caskets than baskets. Lightning snapping back. Julie puzzled by the second tackle. And Lightning can't have known Julie's been unloaded. Kerry again against Lightning, Lightning there, no chance to score, just dance to the floor, less than 15 seconds to go. Kerry last year's standby contender in the thick of the real thing now. Julie again against Lightning and Vogue, but it's The Undertaker who gets measured up and laid out. Time's running down, and it's another clean sheet from the Glads. They really are excelling themselves this season. John Anderson's hooter signals the end of that Powerball session. Superb efforts by Julie and Kerry, but no scores to show for it. Kerry's parents, Doreen and Bill, and her brother Simon acknowledge the effort. And after three events, Julie nil, Kerry 10. Let's go 